So you want to create an actual catalog into your actual store of Shopify. I'm going to be showing you how to do this in a very easy way. So what I want to do here, of course, is to first of all sign into our Shopify store. I'm going to leave you the link down below in the description so we can all get started totally for free. Once we are here into the actual section of your Shopify, this is the very first part, which is organizing your products. So first of all, you want to ensure that all your products are properly organized. In your Shopify administrator, let's navigate directly into the product which is appears into the left hand. Here, what you can do is to add new products or edit existing ones. So make sure each product has accurate description, prices, and images. Now here, what you want to do is to, in order to get started with the actual elements, let's go for creating collections. If you focus here into products, if you clicked into products, you might be seeing that there's an actual desktop element here. So let's click into collections. So in Shopify Administrator here, what you can do inside here is to add new products or to edit collections. So click here and to create a new collection, to start a new one. And you can set up collections manually by adding products individually or automatically by setting conditions that automatically include products meeting certain criteria. So if I wanted to do this automated, I choose this option. Let's say for example that I only wanted to add product that says product tag is equal to. And here let's say for example that I choose the option that says men. And that will be actually it. So I go here into title. Let's say for example that I go back of course, I choose this title and I wanted to add more products. Now if I choose one product, directly here into text. Let's say for example here that I choose the tag that says men. So all the products that appears with this tag should be added into the collection that says men. Or what you can do is to add those manually. For example, I choose uh, this collection, I choose manually and I go for browse. Now here into browse could be showing me all the actual products that I can be added directly into my store. So look, what I can do is to select all the products that applies. I go for done and my product should be added directly here into the customizing section of the collection settings. So now that we have added all the products directly here into the collections, now that we have just added all the actual collections you wanted to see into our store, it is time to customize the collection settings. So into the collection setup, you can add a title, you can add a description and choose what other products with this collection should be manually added or if they should beat criteria conditions. For example, you might create a condition that includes our products under $20 to appear into the budget find collection or to go into offers, discount, whatever. So in this case, what we do is to add simply stuff. Since this is an actual website of uh, footwear, we only make three collections, which is women, men and non-binary. So here, once we have just added all these elements into the collections, we already added uh, products directly here into the collections. We can set it for our maximum inclusion. So this is the part where we want to organize the navigation stuff directly here into the menu bar. Let's locate now the online store. Inside the online store, let's locate navigation. Inside navigation, what you want to do is to locate your main menu or to add a new menu. So here into the menu, let's say for example, let it go for a side bar menu. And I here, what I can do is to add the name of my products. In this case, let's say for example, that I choose footwear and I go for add. Now it's going to be asking us to add an actual link of the product. So I choose all the products and I go for add. Now what you can do if you wanted to add much more stuff, let's say like a sub menu, what I can do is to go for add menu item. And here, let's say for example, that I just go for men and I select the collection that applies with the actual element. So filter collection with text, what you can do is to choose the element that says men and I go for add. So now what I want to be doing here is to select this element and slightly just move to the right until I see this uh, white button. I drop it. Now I have a sub menu here. I can add a new menu directly inside the footwear and I do exactly the same thing with the rest of the collections that I have just created. You can add your collection to your menu by editing an existing menu item or adding a new one. So link the menu item to the collection you want the customers to see. And as you can see, this has been saved automatically. I can go here into save, go into my online store and go here into customize. Directly here into customize, what we can do is to go here into the header 
And here to have what you can do is to change the menu, change menu, and choose the menu that you have just created. In this case, I'm going to leave this into the main menu since we already have created the food world. And as you can see here, it actually looks at the elements that we have just created. So lastly, what I can totally suggest to you is to add this directly into the home section. Into the home section, what you can do is to go for add collection. And here you can just see that we have collection name or go directly here and to add a section and you have the collection list. Into collection list, what you can do is to select the actual collection that you just created and it might be looking like this. So you can just create an actual image and of course adding the name of the collection section so you can just get started and making look a little bit much more organized than it was before. And lastly, you want to go and save your changes and preview it before you go live. And once you make sure that everything looks great, your actual menu, your actual collection listing, and the organization of your products, then you're actually good to go. And there you have it. You have successfully created an actual catalog into the Shopify using collections. This is not only helping keep your products organized, but also enhancing the Shopify experience for the customers. If you find this tutorial helpful, guys, please don't hesitate to like, share, and subscribe for more Shopify tips and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, with all of that being said, you can see it through a brand new section of Express. See you next time.